Internet clout is probably the most uh, addictive thing in modern times in terms of, I guess, Gen Zers or even millennials to a certain point. Actually, really anybody can fall uh, into the chase the clout dragon, so to speak. And for the most part, even, you know, people, if we look back in the early days of YouTube's, all those, um, you know, setup videos that ended up all being fake or staged, you know, there's a lot of that that goes on, even in modern day news and things like that. People arrange things behind them to look like they're really in the thick of it, but then the camera, you know, pans over and they're just hanging out or Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez kneeling next to a fence pretending that there's thousands of migrants on the other side when it was just an empty parking lot. This is not anything new. Lying for cloud is not a new thing, but doing it on TikTok is a new thing. And faking a disability to play on people's heartstrings is particularly frustrating, which is why I've decided to make a video about it because I don't think that it's necessarily okay. Uh, it's just messed up. And before I get into that, absolutely huge shout out to this video sponsor, Raid. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, it's your boy Raid Shadow Legends. I bet you didn't know that people have played Raid for over 12.5 billion hours so far. That's almost 1.5 million years and that's a true testament to the numerous things that you can do in this game, whether you're playing on your desktop device, your Android or your iPhone device, there's always something to do in Raid, which is part of what I love about the gameplay. Depending on how much time I have available, I can interact with the game in a wide variety of ways. Sometimes I just want to log in and review the champions available and pick new favorites. And of course, sometimes I just love hopping into a quick PVP battle. This month, Raid just released a ton of amazing new content, new clan features and improvements, their brand new quest for you and your clan members to work on together, new benefits for every clan member just for being in a clan, and even a brand new clan shop that gives you access to some incredibly powerful items. This month's raids also got new champions to collect from fragments in the Doom Tower and loads of events and competitions to take part in. Raid is already a worldwide phenomenon and a longtime supporter of this channel. So if you haven't checked out Raid yet, make sure you use the link in the description or the pinned comment below to support the channel and check out an awesome game that continues to give back to their community. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code right here. New players will get an epic hero, Chrono Ru, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and an ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get into the game. Of course, you'll find extra rewards in your inbox here for the first 30 days. And once you're in, you can find me under the name Colt's Dad, and if you're fast, you can join my clan. It's that easy. Just click the link in the description, and I'll see you in the game. Make sure you check out the game. Give it a try. You know, install it instead of watching people like this on TikTok. Now, I can't play the music because, it, you know, TikTok just allows people to, you know, steal music and I'll get, I'll get claimed. But it says, this adopted and disabled child is about to meet his best friend for the first in three years. Typo, I'm assuming first time in three years. There's like heartwarming music playing in the background. This guy's eating some McDonald's French fries, pretending to have some sort of palsy. We are close, taking a picture at the airport, pretending, waiting outside the airport, put him in a wheelchair, apparently. Um, now this guy is actually a, a Norwegian soccer player. We'll get into that. They roll this guy into the shade in the middle of nowhere, by the way. Not a single person around. And he has some luggage. And he rolls out, throws his backpack down. Cue the cue the music. Like it's all heartwarming music. They are so happy. Blah 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 blah. What's funny is at the end of this, you can actually hear the camera person laugh. There's a wide variety variety of of well funny is funny thing is is this whole thing was exposed by somebody who then they got mad because 
they thought the video like you see this person oh my god people are mad at the woman who exposed it because she admitted that she thought it was funny or satire in the first place but you have this and now credit where credit is due to i don't i can't even read it it's like blurred out here abins i'm not totally sure but essentially this woman you know brings up the disabled black and adopted thing and thinks that she thought like it was satire or something but then did some digging and you see a lot of she points out a lot of the comments saying wow so touching and beautiful and you see adopted and disabled child thanks bro dang touch my heart so the idea that is that these comments are talking about how how touching and how amazing it is um actually you know that they, they they're obviously not making it up for a joke they're they're allowing people to be deceived by this because that's their intention what a hero my heart is melting for for you stan stain i think that's a, what that's the white guy's name much love from the u.s turns out though that the person who said much love for the u.s and was replied to by the content creator doesn't live in the united states they live in norway and here they are hanging out together so this person writes much love from the united states as if they doesn't know him but here they are hanging out at a grill, you know, hanging out. You can see uh, their names tagged in the bottom. Here's Stain here, Carlson, Matt Paulson, or Paulson Matts. And then the person, Ludwig, who said, much love from the United States. It is then revealed that the, the black disabled child actually plays soccer with these two people. Here's this picture now privated for obvious reasons. And you can see Daniel Torrenson is the name of this person, or Daniel Torrenson is their first name, whatever, it doesn't matter, from Norway. No picture, I wasn't able to find a picture too, but they played 16 minutes in the game yesterday. And then you have like multiple videos of this guy pretending to have a severe handicap. It's sick. And so then I thought, well, let me see if I can reproduce this. Yes, I did. I did find the soccer player who is now private. And coincidentally, adopted and disabled child has 33,000 followers, 1 million likes, and they have now deleted all their videos. I mean, here's the person's play. They've played, I mean, they're not disabled. They're on the same soccer team. Now, I know a lot of people will probably say, ah, oh, yeah, you know, this happens, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but I just think that it's sick. And, and, and the side note, it is funny. They're not mad that this woman exposed somebody pretending to be fake, to pretending to be black and disabled. Or, well, they are black, but disabled and adopted. They're mad that a white woman pointed it out. Of course, you would make the one of the 20 black people in the country pretend to be disabled. I don't know what's worse. The fact that she thought it was funny to begin with and shared it with her friends to laugh at. The fact that she did all this research or the fact that these men thought this was entertaining to do and are making plenty of content on this. What do you mean? It's obvious that these, du that these dudes doing this is what's messed up. But th this is modern day TikTok. So we're just going to skip over the part where she said she sent it because she thought it was funny and there was nothing funny about those videos. She thought it was satire. Uh, her rear is getting laps run around it in that group chat to be fueled, to be fueled, to dig that far. I don't, I don't understand. Girl, was determined to salvage your reputation. So even this is why zoomers, not all, not my viewer zoomers, but zoomers are just the worst. Like they're not, they're more outraged that at this woman than they are at these other two people who fake this whole thing. Like, it's sick. TikTok continues to prove that it is absolute garbage. 
I know that there are some good things on it, but not for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.